Hello, I will be using this uh, whole body model here to uh, talk about the blood vessels. I'm going to start around the heart and work my way up to the head and then down an arm. And I'll do the abdomen and uh, legs later. So here's the heart uh, kind of opened up, right? You can identify some of the chambers in here. This is the uh, pulmonary semilunar valve. So this is the pulmonary trunk right here as seen on the previous model, which then branches into the left and right pulmonary arteries. And these go out to the lungs. As you can see, the blood returns from the lungs through these red blood vessels and these over here. And these are the uh, pulmonary veins and they all return to that uh, left atrium. So let's follow this aorta. So the aorta uh, starts off and makes this big pronounced arch. So they call that the aortic arch branching off first from the aorta, besides for the coronary arteries, which we can't see, is this big blood vessel right here. And it's kind of, you can see it kind of like right there. Uh, this is the brachiocephalic trunk, brachium meaning arm and cephalus meaning head. That big brachiocephalic trunk will branch. And you can see one branch going off this way and the other branch going up, right? So the branch that goes towards the head is the right common carotid artery. The branch that goes off towards the arm is the right subclavian artery. I'll pick back up on this guy in a minute, but let's go back to this aorta. Brachiocephalic trunk followed by left common carotid. So the left common carotid and left subclavian branch independently from this aortic arch, typically. Brachiocephalic trunk on the right side branches into those guys on the right. So the first is brachiocephalic trunk, then we've got uh, left common carotid, which you can see going all the way up here. Uh, and I'll follow it for a second. So the left common carotid is going to come up here and somewhere in here, we can't see it on this model, somewhere in here it's going to branch into a left external carotid artery, which we can see. That's what this red blood vessel is that snakes its way up uh, behind the jaw to the outside of the skull. This is the uh, external carotid artery. The internal goes in. You can't see it here. So working our way back down here again, we'll go to the uh, left subclavian, which as it progresses, when it gets, it's still left subclavian right here. Then when it gets to the armpit, it becomes what's called the axillary. So axillary means armpit. And there's not like a demarcation, but if I point here, if I point at this, you, you'll say left subclavian artery. If I point there, you'd say uh, left axillary. If I point there, you say left brachial artery. I'm going to follow the brachial artery on the right arm though, because it is better uh, illustrated. So uh, right subclavian, right axillary artery, right brachial artery. And then as it gets down here into the elbow, you'll see it branch off, right? So you've got a big branch that runs along the ulna called the ulnar artery. And you've got a big branch that runs along the radius called the radial artery. And uh, there's one in the middle called the medial artery. The veins have very similar names, right? So you've got a ulnar vein and a radial vein. You've got a brachial vein. You've got the uh, axillary and subclavian veins. The naming's uh, very similar. And that's it for the thorax and head.